the gut microbiome and hormonal health have a really big interplay with one another. So from the hormone angle, we can see that hormones make a huge impact on the microbiome. We know that in pregnancy and in women that have gone through menopause, there's actually a lack of diversity in the gut microbiome. So there's not as many keystone species. And so we're seeing that estrogen can make a big impact on shaping up the gut microbiome and making sure there is a lot of diversity. And then from the other angle, we know that the gut makes a huge impact on hormonal health. In your gut microbiome, you're thinking about the trillions of different species that are living within your intestines. Those gut microbiomes are actually producing anti-inflammatory compounds as a byproduct too, things like short-chain fatty acids that play a big role in managing inflammation in the gut. And that's really the goal here when we're talking about like taking probiotics and doing all the things. We want to support those healthy microbes for producing these anti-inflammatory compounds. When it comes to estrogen detox, there's a whole set of bacteria in the gut called the estrobilum, and they produce an enzyme called beta-chloronidase, and this really impacts how you're detoxing excess estrogen out of the body. And then when we're looking at progesterone levels as well, we know that Someone who doesn't have good gut health, if there's low levels of inflammation, that can actually negatively impact progesterone production, and we might see lower progesterone levels in these individuals. So there's a huge link between the two, and it ends up being more of like this cyclical nature where the gut impacts the hormones and the hormones can impact the gut as well.